Last spring break, I went on a trip with a hundred other Harvard undergraduates to Israel. It was one of the most extraordinary experiences of my life, and I will always be grateful to Harvard for that. I recall the trip with awe and joy, but a certain moment rattled me. Our group attended a Shabbat dinner at a Tel Aviv synagogue. The rabbi proclaimed, Welcome to Israel. You are all here from America, the best country in the world. He paused, but not a single person clapped. The Israelis stared in disbelief. Americans are the freest, most privileged people on earth. Yet many of us are ashamed to show any, even the tiniest trace of national pride. Why? because we Americans of recent generations have been swaddled in prosperity and security and in consequence have become ungrateful for the blessings we enjoy. It requires vigorous athletic imagination for most of us to consider the basic brutal realities that much of the world experiences daily. Even worse, we have consumed a cultural diet that reduces America to its ugliest moments and dismisses its noble ideals and accomplishments as jingoism. This nation saved the world from global catastrophe three times in the 20th century. This nation has grown to treat racial, ethnic, and religious minorities with equality and respect compared to other places and times on earth. This is the nation where people are not constrained by their gender, religion, or class, but can work to achieve a better life. In this nation, we can criticize our government, secure in the knowledge that we will rise the next morning and our country will still respect our rights. We view these things to be our birthright, our permanent and guaranteed condition, but they are not. They exist only because past generations have sacrificed to secure and maintain them. And to our discredit, we have used these blessings not to strengthen our country, but to tear it down. We members of this university and we Americans have shirked our responsibility as the most privileged cohort on earth. We have remained cringingly silent in the face of corrosive ideas, woke culture, that has corrupted our institutions and severed the bonds that hold our country together. The New York Times won a Pulitzer Prize for reporting that the sole purpose of the American Revolution was to preserve slavery. And we remain silent. The Oregon Department of Education asserts that showing your work and finding the right answer in math is white supremacist, and we remain silent. The American Medical Association has stated that the U.S. should remove gender from birth certificates, and we remain silent. Howard Zinn, the author of the most widely read history text in American public schools, said that America has done, quote, more bad than good, and we remain silent. We are ashamed to be American. The shame should be on us. Too many use their right to free speech to advocate suspending it for all who disagree with them. What a litany of dishonesty. We are using our privilege to undermine the very system that has given us that privilege. America, despite its failings, is the last great stand on earth. We must speak up against this now or our civilization will face a somber reckoning. Thank you.